Money is important. When you're called to the table and say, there's a business plan I would like you to see. Oh, really? How much do we need? We need about 15 million, and there are three friends. One drops five, one drops five, that's collaboration. And the third one drops five. And then a man wants to join. Oh, we got it. What I'm saying is money will make you walk better. <laughs> Having your own. I never get this thing that you, most people, don't, lay, don't let me just say you. I never get what this idea of when I meet a rich man. Ha! When a man meets a rich woman, when he meets me, his life will be better. Because what that means is, you are a powerful man, you think you're a powerful man, when you rub off on me, I make you even more powerful. I make you look good. I am no longer a liability. I am an asset. To be an asset, you have to have your own income. Please hear me well. Work hard. There are distractions. You know, this thing called love and romance, they've polished it in such a way that they've made it look like a Disney film. It's a lie -o. I'm not saying lo love is a beautiful thing, but the love of friendship, the love of your sibling, the love of your mother, the love of your children, let that carry you before you have that man. And work on what you need to do. Face it, every day you wake up in the morning, you have to deposit something in your life. Pick up a book. Read something. If you can't pick up a book, pick your phone and follow the people who are doing what you're doing. L look at something that they've done before and think, I can do that. And try it. Try something. Go back to school. Sharpen your skills. Do what you need to do. But make honest money. Honest money. Ah, I knew you wouldn't clap for that one. Because everybody wants to do that. Uh, give me now. I don't know what it means to say, I'm looking for a man who is wealthy, who is rich. It will be nice. The reason it will be nice is because I don't have to stress much. And if he's going to be that man, he's going to say, well, we're going to Paris tomorrow. I bought your ticket. If he didn't buy my ticket... If he really couldn't afford to buy my ticket, <laughs> I can take myself to Paris. Don't you want to do things for yourself? So why would you be looking at a man? Let me tell you something. The foundation that you build is very important. Once you put that in your mind, in your spirit being, that that's what you're looking for. That's it. But you put it that I want a man who's going to compliment me, who I will compliment, but I want to be a woman that builds assets for myself. First, when you stay in that thinking, that's what you're going to continue to do. Do you really think I wouldn't get a lot of suitors asking for me, for my hand in? I will. And that's because I am an asset. I'm not a liability to any man. Do you get what I'm saying? Make your money. Stop it. Stop it, young ones. Stop it. Stop. I, I beg of you. Stop thinking there's a savior in a man. Stop it. Stop it. He is there to be, you are there to be a helper. He's there to help you. But you can imagine, what do you think they call a power couple? That's why that word exists. A power couple. Meaning, your bag, his bag. Oh. Hey, I, 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 I don't know how else to say it. But I beg of you, whatever it is that you decide you want to do, go for it. 
if that man does not want to wait, let me tell you something. When you're done achieving it, he's going to be the one to come back to ask. And even if he doesn't, he's going to know it that he missed out on a good thing. Yes, I beg you. I know you want to buy that hair. You want to buy this. Oh, yeah. And there's another thing. Live within your means. Live within. We're talking money, right? If you cannot buy a shoebi, stop it. Tell them no. As old as I am and I can afford it, some I say no to. Because I feel I have that color. If I can't come in what I have, then don't have me at all. But if you have a budget that you're working with, stop extending yourself to buy the things. When I was much younger, do you think that I look like this? I wore the good hair or I carried the bag, the name brands? No. I carried the bags that I could carry. I wore what I could afford. I didn't push myself. I had two children in school. It's almost like you comparing me now to a 35-year-old or a 30-year-old or a 29-year-old. Who, If I'm going on Instagram and then I see an actor who is very popular, very big, carrying a very expensive bag. My darling, I had two children in school. I was changing Naira to dollars. Now that they are, so as of that time, you can't compare yourself. It's almost like me comparing myself to someone who doesn't have even babies, is not married or anything. Everything she has, she's enjoying herself. Think about it. You have two children, little children, that is the time to raise them. Yes, you feel like you can't afford to do this, you can't afford to do that. You're still paying school fees. Give yourself some grace. But right now, I'm 54 years old. My two children are 28 and 26. They've got jobs. What do you think I'm using my money to do? 